Hey guys, as we're stepping into 2016 and as we're stepping into this new year, I want to talk to you about something really important beyond just goal setting because goal setting is uh, one part of the equation when you're thinking about the year and the years to come. Uh, there's one key thing that keeps most of us stuck even though we set our goals and we have our ambitions and specific uh, things that we want to accomplish. Here's the key. We don't understand who we want to become. We don't understand our identity. And this comes from the book uh, Resilience by Eric Greitens, uh, which is, this book is all about Stoic philosophy. And let me explain what Eric is talking about. He says, most humanity is run by their feelings. So depending on the feelings, they take their actions. And as a result of those actions, they become someone. They find uh, their identity. But instead, we need to start at the end. We need to start with what is the identity we're after? Who do we want to become? And from that point, we realize what actions we will need to take and those actions will lead to the right feelings. So don't become like the mass of humanity whose actions are being defined by their feelings and hence their identity is really being defined by how they feel. Instead, figure out who you want to be. Figure out your identity. Now, another way to look at it is um, or another example is from the life, from the ancient Greeks. What they used to do was when they were when the performers go in the theater, they would, would put on a mask, and that mask would depict the character. And over time, as these performers um, had this mask on, they would act and feel according to the mask they had put on. The, the, the performers would actually put, take on the life of the character because of the mask they had put on themselves. So really important to understand that even though today we're not where we want to be. Today we're not who we want to become. If we put on this mask and if we live this mask, over time we become that person. So really important to understand our identity. So Arnold Schwarzenegger talks about this in his biography. He says, don't worry so much about what you need to do. Instead, focus on who you want to become. Because once you figure out who you want to become, the actions will become much easier and the feelings will follow. And uh, the example of, from his life is when he, when he was working out in the gym, preparing for Mr. Universe, preparing for Mr. Olympia, a lot of people would ask him why he was always smiling. And for him, the reason was that because he knew he was already Mr. Universe, he was already a winner, he was already Mr. Olympia, he put on that identity. And as a result, he would act according to that. He would act like Mr. Olympia, Mr. Universe, and he would feel the same way. He would feel that he had already won, so he was happy about it. Another uh, example is from Think and Grow Rich, from Napoleon Hill's book, classic Think and Grow Rich, where he talks about acting as if. What acting as if really means is, how would you act if you had already accomplished your goal? How would you feel? How would you be? Who would you be if you had already accomplished your goal? You want to do that right now and not wait till you've accomplished your goals. So identify who you would become and then the actions and the feelings will follow. So figure out that identity. Act as if you already become that person. Act as if you already become. Understand your identity and live from that identity. Another, another way to explain it is from Tony Robbins who says that our identity is probably the most powerful force in our, um, in our pursuit of uh, our goals and pursuit of excellence. And what, and what he says is that most of the times we're not limited by the actions we're taking but we're more limited by the ceilings we have in our mind of who we are and what we're, cap so, and what we're capable of. So our identity limits what we get in life. Our identity will always put a ceiling to uh, how far we can go in life. So as you're thinking about the new year, as you're thinking about 2016 and even 10 years from now, I really want you to think who do you want to become who do you want to become? Who do you want to be as a human being in all facets of your life, especially in your business? Who do you want to become? Not only in the next year, but 10 years from now, 20 years from now, what is your ambition? Who do you want to become? Not only what you want to do and what you want to accomplish. So post it below, write down who do you want to become? Remember, the best way to learn, the best way to remember what you're learning right now is to engage yourself in a discussion, to actually uh, do the exercises, to talk about it, write about it, do whatever it is. So write down below and I will definitely comment 
on, on your comments as well. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Uh, we are always publishing great summaries of great business books, and you can always be learning new things. So until then, um, until next time, uh, see you later. By the way, if you're wondering where I am, I'm in Amsterdam right now, this Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, and that's why it's a little loud sometimes, and you hear the, all the announcements. I'm on my way to India and then Thailand. I'll keep you posted. I'll post videos from there as well. So look forward to catching up with you guys um, from India or from Thailand. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.